Hi guys, my name is Tamar and since this is my very first video, I want to give you a quick introduction to what are the things I will cover in this channel. Online shopping is easy, but sometimes it can get time consuming, especially if you don't really know where to look. So what I will do is I will share with you my favorite online stores. We will go over their shipping options, returns, as well as their prices. I wanted to start with Selfridges, not only because it's my favorite online store, but also because it's a department store that has everything from jewelry to beauty, makeup, skincare, as well as fashion for both men and women. The Selfridges online store ships to 130 countries worldwide, including UAE, which is where I live. When it comes to online shopping, there are a lot of things that will attract you to an online store. You want the best prices, you want fast shipping, you want it for free or at least minimal charges, as well as good return policies. I will start with the prices. Now the prices on Selfridges are truly the best. I have compared a lot of items on different stores and I have always found that Selfridges has the best prices, they're always the same, less and never more than other stores. I will give you some examples. Let's look at this Dior Forever Undercover Foundation. It's the brand new foundation by Dior. It is $39 on the Selfridges website. And once you place that in your bag, import duties will be added and you'll have a total of $41. I'm going to compare that to Sephora. On the Sephora website, the same foundation is priced at $52, and that's excluding taxes. Now let's look at a dress. This one is from Self Portrait, and I'll show you this dress on the Self Portrait website. As you can see, it's 360 pounds. Now that makes like a $506, and that's just the price of the dress, excluding any import duties or shipping charges. On Selfridges, the same dress is $415. Around $45 of import duties will be added on that during checkout and your final will be around $460. Also keep an eye on sales. I'm not sure how many times a year they do those big sales where they offer 50% on dresses, 30% on shoes, as well as on other items. It's also worth mentioning that there's a sale section under each category, as you can see here in bags, shoes, and kids. So whenever you feel like shopping, but you wanna get a good deal, it's always a good idea to check um, all the items in the sales section. So now let's talk about shipping. Shipping costs 25 pounds, which is an equivalent of $35. So you can either go ahead and pay $35 every time you make a purchase, or if you are a constant shopper, you can just subscribe to Selfridges Plus Global. For Selfridges Plus Global, you pay an annual fee of £40, which is $55, and what you get is a whole year of express shipping. When I mentioned that shipping costs £25 to the UAE, it's different to other countries, like for example, Greece, it's $20. If I change a country to Lebanon, you can see it's $30. So the shipping costs are different from country to country. Another important thing is that all your taxes, duties, and charges will be added before payment. So once you receive your order, you will never be surprised and you will never pay any additional fees. I placed an order just a couple of days ago and I received my order yesterday. Um, I just wanted to show you the box uh, because sometimes the um, it might be opened for inspection and um, if they open it they will reseal it and you can tell that it's opened by the seal. All of your purchases will come in the signature yellow wrapping papers of Selfridges. So basically uh, what will also come with your purchase is a delivery note as well as an invoice. Um, the note you will need in case you want to return because it will have your order number. So what you will do is you will go on the Selfridges website to the returns section and just put in your order number as well as the last four digits of your phone number. 
Once you do that, you'll see a list of all the items you purchased. All you need to do is select the item that you want to return. So let's say in this case, I choose this one. I'll have to choose a reason why I'm returning, uh, if it's poor quality, no longer needed, too short or whatever the reason is, and then just click proceed. Next, you'll be given a carrier options depending on where you live. Let's say we choose DHL Express. All I need to do is put in my email address and again, click on proceed. Finally, all you need to do is put in some personal information, your home address, and just choose a collection date. You can choose any date from the days that are available in black and choose a collection time. As you can all see, Selfridges is amazing when it comes to shipping options, returns, and prices, but it does have some cons. One con is the fact that it only ships to 130 countries, so there are a lot of other countries out there that Selfridges doesn't ship to. Another con is that not all the brands are shipped to your country. Now, we all know that perfumes, mists, sprays cannot be shipped, nail polishes cannot be shipped, but sometimes there are some brands that that cannot be shipped. Here I'll show you two different brands of mixers. For example, this one from KitchenAid cannot be delivered to the UAE, while this one from Smeg can. Sometimes agreements change because only a few days ago, Tom Ford was one of the brands that couldn't be shipped to the UAE. But now if you check, you'll see that that restriction is gone and Tom Ford can be shipped. I also wanted to mention that you can download the Selfridges app. It's really easy to use. You can check all the new in this week in beauty and in fashion, as well as placing the things you like in your wish list. So this is it guys, all about Selfridges. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will see you next time. Bye.